President-elect Trump addresses veterans' access to health care. President-elect Donald Trump recently held a press conference emphasizing the need for improved health care access for U.S. veterans. He highlighted the challenges many veterans face in accessing timely care, with some waiting up to six months for VA appointments, a delay that, in some cases, led to unnecessary suffering or even death. Trump pointed out that these delays could have been avoided with quicker access to medical attention. As part of his commitment to veterans, Trump introduced a program called CHOICE, aimed at expanding health care options for veterans. This program allows veterans to seek care from private doctors and have the bill covered by the federal government, in line with America's promise to provide for those who have served. In a step toward broader reform, Trump signed the VA Mission Act into law, which restructured the Department of Veterans Affairs to improve efficiency and expand access to VA-funded care in the private sector. The law combines existing programs to give veterans more flexibility, allowing them to choose private care when VA facilities cannot provide timely services. This initiative was met with bipartisan support in Congress and builds on a foundation established in 2014, when the CHOICE program was initially created following incidents where veterans died waiting for care at the Phoenix VA. Under the new law, Veterans' eligibility for private care will depend on factors such as wait times at VA facilities, the quality of care, and distance from the nearest VA center. Veterans who have benefited from the program shared their positive experiences. Laura Vila, a former U.S. Army service member, and Air Force veteran Antonio Garcia attended the signing ceremony and spoke about how choice allowed them to receive care closer to home. Garcia, who recently underwent knee surgery near his home in Brownsville, Texas, described the program as perfect. Vila also praised the program for enabling her to undergo gallbladder surgery without needing to travel long distances. In addition to expanding private care options, the VA Mission Act sets up a commission to evaluate VA facilities, determining which should be repaired, newly built, or closed, with care redirected to the private sector. The Act also includes incentives to address a staffing shortage within the VA, including scholarships for medical students willing to work at VA facilities. Currently, the VA has over 33,000 unfilled positions. The new law also extends benefits to pre-9-11 veterans, helping cover the cost of in-home caregivers, a benefit previously limited to post-9-11 veterans. The VA will also test pilot programs aimed at improving efficiency, including partnerships with private health care providers. Ascension, a prominent nonprofit health system, expressed optimism about these initiatives. Its president, Tony Tosini, dismissed concerns about VA privatization, affirming that certain specialties should remain within the VA while partnerships could enhance other areas of care. Through these measures, the VA Mission Act seeks to honor America's commitment to its veterans by making health care more accessible and ensuring that all veterans receive the care they deserve.